hi <clears throat> welcome back to my channel so today we are going to cover day two session for a few slides as part of pim and mdm uh, just for a recap uh, we're going to so we cover the pim what is pim over you what is uh, mdm and the different types of data what is master data what is pim and mdm and what is the product and a different domains we covered landscape so we're going to discuss about the current slide today but what's the challenges faced uh, due to the unavailability of the product mdm i mean it's like if in case a uh, if you are not going to implement a product MDM. These are the several reasons why uh, many of the organizations chooses MDM and PIM implementation. So, so I'm going to explain uh, in detail. Uh, most of the products uh, and um, uh, most of the organization manages products uh, manually and the business what is the business process involved to manage this product is is very complex like managing the product if you take it as a bank data because bank customer data and about the pricing data so it's a sensitive information and uh, you need to maintain the accuracy of the data if all this sensitive data we deal as manually it may prone to the errors like one uh, it's like wrong pricing wrong information so if you are doing it manually uh, then risks also very high when handling this kind of data uh, based on our experience and observation the managing this product data is very complex operation is very difficult and also uh, what are the amount uh, time the amount of time spent in case of manual enrichment amendments or making any changes for each of the product is very high it means this maintenance and uh, most of the like most of like most of the teams is are going to involve when you are doing this product enrichment hence uh, maintaining this complete operation and the product is very um, expensive it's a costly operations uh, apart from the costly operations like the, the product whatever are going to uh, do the, the it's a time consuming so when you're doing the enrichment it's a time consuming and if it is a, uh, if it is a more time consuming then by the time the product is already launched and other competitors are already selling it is a loss of business uh, suppose if you take it as I, I, uh, apple iphone 14 if the product so many uh, vendors already been released and because of some data inconsistency or uh, decisions or wrong correction incorrect uh, recommendations or incorrect data so we are unable to launch the product into the side it leads to the loss of business so uh, so that's and also it's a very uh, uh, costly as operation to maintain and manage this product data information manually so hence uh, PM, uh, PIM solution will help to engage all the different teams to mark the products to change the product to enrichments all everything is simple because it's a central managing tool by Stebo so this architecture will helps to minimize the time and on time publishing the products so it's uh, time a uh, lot of it saves a lot of time so another thing is accuracy so data accuracy so 
if whatever data in the website is different and whatever data we are going to publish is different so the data accuracy is to be maintained that's why we are going to choose the product mdm solution for this um, so to minimize the time to publish the accuracy of the data uh, hence uh, we know what we are selling it so it's very uh, informative and it is very less time to publish and so these are the factors which uh, drives uh, the forces the uh, product MDM solution uh, as uh, PIM uh, architecture will help to overcome these challenges so the next line would be the situations reasons and challenges so we're going to discuss these are some examples like uh, why this P, uh, pim solution is required and what's the situation reasons and challenges um, to be faced so and so why is it required up here in pim solutions so if you take it as a geog geographical spread uh, it means that uh, same uh, organization if selling the products like the same organizations products selling to England and the same products uh, is selling to the Ireland so based on the geographical conditions uh, legal complaints governance based on the business so the they're going to publish in a different set of data so uh, based on the geographical conditions in this case the PIM solution will create contextual data based on the geographical uh, when the data is publishing to the respective geographic so multiple line offering services business units organization boundaries and in case of merger and acquisitions uh, these are the uh, PM, PIM solution will um, forcing this is a situation to use the PIM solution okay I'm going to the next slide uh, this slides will explain this uh, what is MDM potentials uh, basically to any organization um, the, the requirement uh, like so product management health check assessment uh, or envisioning phase and creating a roadmap business case okay and uh, product MDM part of MDM part of delivery and support and maintenance of the projects uh, related to the product uh, MDM and uh, the product MDM use cases so these are the different set of uh, use cases why uh, product MDM is uh, required and uh, what is the why we sh why the product M MDM must use Yeah, superior customer experience are like um, um, supporting multi or omni channels and publishing the content to marketplace uh, it means like publishing the content to like uh, amazon hp sites uh, so like here the stibo xt tool will help you to publish the content to outside and the print publishing print public publishing is a, is a print catalog helps to uh, it's a better experience uh, when in case of a product MDM and uh, supply chain optimization so um, basically uh, this like a vendor collaboration so like uh, like it's a e it is very flexible tool to collaborating uh, like a different kind of vendors inventory optimization it's like um, anything a stock 
it just means uh, movements or uh, anything or uh, availability so all the inventory it just means uh, optimization data also can be displayed uh, from the th third party vendors and it has also demand supply planning also can do that this tool uh, <clears throat> speed to the market so so like uh, is a, a, a ongoing process like currently like so many organizations so many retailers banking they try to publish the content uh, the very uh, crucial uh, time so like if you I'll take it as iPhone 14 and uh, it is recently released so we have to release the product with the proper content all con legal information everything I with the data accuracy all the information pub published publish to the site so that the number of the business impact to minimize and increase the sales of uh, <clears throat> the business of the recent product launches so it will help this mdm tool will help uh, the pim solution will help you to speed up the market uh, for operation efficiency basically it is increases the uh, operation and efficiency uh, for the MDM to use yeah so the next part so we'll discuss about uh, step of workbench uh, or you product maintenance such functionality in stable asset basics step collections bulk up uh, bulk update and approvals Yeah, here is a system setup. It's a tree tab, where navigation tabs, where you are going to work here. So main focus of this, you are going to work here. And the next one is a context selector. This is, uh, I think, uh, already explained you before. Like uh, this table supports uh, context. So where, uh, based on the uh, country specific geographical data so we can uh, select the context here so in case for a UK customer so select UK um, <clears throat> UK and Ireland uh, here this uh, by default is a global context and but you need to change it for a for if you are working for a UK customer you need to change it explicitly you need to change English UK uh, customer and then if you are working for United States, you need to change here but by default is a global context uh, uh, basically it by selecting the right context uh, it will help you to uh, save a time to 
the right way of doing the enrichment of product very easily if you're selecting the proper context i mean the proper context here here the next one is a main and approved workspace so two different workspaces here so main workspace like so it's when your item is created it will be go to the main work uh, main workspace and once as soon as we approve uh, the items from the main so it goes to the approved and then this approve the products uh, items which is available in the approved workspace can uh, can uh, eligible for publishing the content if the product's not going to be approved for a, if not moving to the work, workspace and uh, the product is, will not be able to go into the downstreams. Here is a navigation URL, the navigation info and view modes here. Yeah. Okay, searching in the sense uh, here, the search bar. Uh, in the sense like when you try to type uh, the id or attribute id or attribute name here so we can able to search here and search stuff here is the id is unique and uh, who is uh, uh, it's uh, immutable id so even name can be changed but id cannot be changed here so so when it's a better like you know uh, we're going to search the id we can retrieve all the attributes by uh, we will get the attributes based on the id and here's the editor tabs here is a title bar uh, a menu bar menu items tree tab here toolbar here search tab background process tab system tab is a stuff workflows and here is a j is a status line so so we know the like when an object is created or object deleted so all the status uh, you'll see show here in the here below the bottom but it's not clearly showing here but it here is a, at the bottom of the line it shows the status like fail or process successfully processed or successfully created so all the details will be here is a case object so here all the objects like creating attributes uh, all the objects details will be shown here in this uh, main space so hope you like this video for a day two session so i'm going to take more session on this uh, so hope you like this video if you like this video please like share and comment uh, thank you so much. We will meet you in day 3 session. Thank you.